So to start with a spine, we need to chain 7. And we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, slip stitch into the next chain, and do four SCs down the rest of the chains. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. Turn and chain two. Remember that chain two counts as a DC. Three DC. One, two, three, and chain three on the end for the next spine. Turn and slip stitch into the first chain, slip stitch into the second chain, and four SC back. One, two, three, and four. So again, turn, chain two, work three SCs back, or three DCs back, excuse me, two and three, and then chain three, and turn, slip stitch in the first chain, slip stitch in the next chain, and 4SC back. So we've got our first three spines done, now it's time for a decrease row. So we're going to turn and chain two, then we're going to do one DC, and then a DC decrease. So. There's our DC decrease. Now we're going to chain three, like we always do at the end of a DC row, and turn, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, slip stitch in the next stitch, and three SC back. Turn, chain two, work two DCs, so you've got three DCs that are going back and forth now, we're starting chain and two DCs, chain three, and turn to make another spine. So from here, rounds 9 through 26, you're just going to repeat with three DCs all the way down the length of his neck. So you're going to make nine more spines. And then on round 27, you're going to make a last spine by going back one more time. So you'll end right here on round 26 on the end of a spine. You'll have to SC, well, slip stitch two and then SC back so that your starting or your ending tail is on this end at the end of row 27. So I will see you at the end of row 27 with our spines all done so that we can see the finished product. Alrighty, after round 27 we have this nice long hunk mostly of two DC sections and then three at the beginning here. So that when we put it on our Kelpie head we're going to put it on with this head, um, thicker side in between their ears and this is going to stick out straight off of our little head here. So it's going to look really cool. And it's going to go down the back of his neck just like that. To put on our neck spines, we need to pin the center of our Kelpie forehead between the eyebrows and one stitch up. And that is going to be where the tallest point on our spines sticks up. A lot like a mohawk. It's going to stick up like a mohawk. And then it's going to run down her neck 
across the center point where your neck and head met. So put a pin there. And then straight down her neck the way that her neck curves. In this little Kelpie's case, this is not perfectly centered with the shoulders because we tilted her head slightly. The tail spines and neck spines then will not touch and meet up. They will instead overlap at the bottom like this so that when you're looking at her from the front, you'll see her tail spines in front and her neck spines behind. So go ahead and sew on those neck spines with the tallest point of the spines one row up from her eyebrows and the rest of the spines following down her back to behind our tail spines. And then your Kelpie will be completely finished.